Hello there, Royal fans. Welcome back to today's Royal installment. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's hypocritical baby name choice is a damage imitation exercise. On Sunday, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced the birth of their baby daughter, Lilibet, after the Queen's childhood nickname. The couple's second child, named Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor, was born on Friday in the US, but the announcement was delayed until yesterday. Her Majesty is said to be delighted with their name choice but not everyone has shared the monarch's enthusiasm. Royal expert Daniela Alsa said the decision to name their child in honor of the queen was hypocritical and a damage limitation exercise. She said the bewildering name choice contradicted the Sussex's previous claims. They wanted to distance their baby from the royal her heritage. Harry and Meghan naming their second child so blatantly, if not fawningly, after his grandmother, the woman whose life it would seem they have made considerably more difficult this year, just seems bizarre. Rather than coming across as a reverential or respectful, Harry and Meghan's decision to go with Lilibet just seems obscure and in the extreme. If this is some attempt at patching things up with his family, at making amends of the month of death by myriad media cuts, then it seems a very transparent way of going about it. It also feels hypocritical. Meghan and Harry have been at odds with his relatives since quitting royal duties and moving to the US last year. But that rift has grown in recent months, following their bombshell TV interview with US chat show host Oprah Winfrey. During Harry's docu-series, The Me You Can't See, he accused the firm of showing total neglect for his mental health, while Meghan claimed the royals are perpetuating falsehoods about the couple back in March. The choice of Lilibet seems like a flagrant ploy to remind the world of the little girl's status as a member of the royal family, Elsa said. If the intended reaction to Harry and Meghan's choice was designed to be a collective global ah, then they might just be about to come up woefully short. It's hard to be affected or charmed by this move given Archie has not seen his British family since 2019, a fact that the pandemic can only go some way to explain. There is also something a tad uncomfortable about their choice of name in that Lilibet was famously Prince Philip's pet name for his wife of 72 years. To take something so intimate and personal and to recycle it in this manner, one would hope that they had Her Majesty's okay. If that has been the case, neither side has said so thus far. While you're there, like and subscribe for more. See you next time. Goodbye for now.